it's early. I just woke up, actually much later than normal, 8.38 a.m. Yesterday at the office, we were reviewing the packaging design of Young Guns Season 2, and it was interesting to see the results that came out of there. They had two weeks to work on it. And one of the pieces of feedback that we got from them was that it wasn't enough time. What? Two weeks wasn't enough time. And I was thinking to myself, shoot, two weeks is a lot of time. And I was just thinking, is this something that I could do in a day? So what I want to do is I want to take on the Young Gun Season 2 packaging design challenge and see if I can complete it within the whole day today. Uh, there are some other things that are going on that I have to take care of. Also, disclaimer, you know, I've been a creative professional for 15 years now, but I'm no professional packaging designer, not at all. The thing is, I don't really design a whole lot these days. However, I think I can do it. So let's go to the store and find some ethnic foods for me to redesign. So what I ended up getting, that rice vinegar. Why did I end up choosing this uh, rice vinegar? I think because one, I like how minimal the packaging already is. It looks a little basic. I did some research online and checked the actual Japanese version and it's pretty much the same exact packaging with uh, Japanese characters instead on here. So I thought this would be a good challenge. I also like the Marokan logo right here. I thought that was pretty cool already, so it'd be nice to work with that. So I'll be using this logo and just figuring out how to redisplay all the information that we see across the bottle. Now the colors are really nice. I really like the color of the liquid in here. But when I looked at this on the shelf, it didn't stand out a whole lot. You know, I think there's ways that we can make this look a little bit more interesting. So I did a little bit of research. So when I first start to design, I usually begin with research. So I went to their website to learn a little bit more about the history of the brand. For me, I was studying what it is that they wanted to convey through their packaging, through their product, and what are some of the important points, the process and how the product is made, and some of the key qualities about it. So after I did that research, I started to write down a list of keywords and characteristics that I thought of, especially based off of the research. After I did that initial brainstorm, I moved into looking for inspiration. The thing I love to use really is Pinterest. Pinterest is a great place for me to find all kinds of different references of great work that other people have done. I also like to go to Behance. There's tons of great work that's made for creative and I'm just pretty much bookmarking anything that I feel like can resonate or connect with the brand. When I'm doing research on Pinterest and Behance, I'm also looking at other products that are very similar. Either other rice wine vinegars, olive oil, any kind of liquid that might have something similar. I might even look a little bit into alcohol packaging. The thing with alcohol packaging is the product is very cheap to make, so they spend a lot of money on the packaging. So usually there's tons of beautiful examples there online that I could use as reference to see how might I make this package a little bit more expensive looking. We're at 11.23. Spent most of my morning at the grocery store figuring out what it is that I need to do. And then I also spent about 45 minutes to an hour just researching other packaging, saturating my brain, researching about how rice vinegar is made. Learned a little bit about the company. And rice vinegar is pretty simple. You just take rice, you put it in water and you let it ferment for a while and then you strain the rice out and then it becomes vinegar. They have a pretty rich history going back 360 years. So this is very interesting. So there's things about heritage, tradition, that I can play off obviously Japanese culture. I think there's a lot that we can do with this. I think on the shelf this was about four to five dollars. I wanna see if I could repackage this and make it look more like $15 or $20 and make it look really, really special in terms of packaging. After having a pile full of references, now it's time to curate all those things and draw out some ideas based off of the things that I was loving. So there were a couple of references that I really liked and what I was trying to do is look for the qualities that I like for some of these particular references and I started to emulate that and apply that to what I think could be this new packaging for the rice wine vinegar. The thing is with these sketches, I'm just trying to look for as many iterations as possible. My goal here is to exhaust all of my initial thinking. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, I spent a little time doing some sketches, which you'll see here. Got 
couple of things that, you know, some I think are decent. Some maybe look too high-end or maybe I'm too influenced by some of the other like perfume and liquor stuff. But I think I found a few that are more appropriate and I like this stuff that starts to feel a bit more traditional, starts to feel like Japanese sake bottles or even just like more traditional kind of like pickling and uh, fermentation process stuff with these paper tops and strips on, over the top that are wrapped with a little tiny piece of twine or rope. So I kind of like that stuff. So this is where I'm kind of feeling where it captures the heritage, a little bit of the, the traditional stuff, but also presents the wine in a very clean and updated way. So I'm probably going to end up exploring something like that. It is 12.20 right now have to go to a doctor's appointment and also gonna grab some lunch. So now that I've spent all morning saturating my brain and all the different options, doing some research and then doing some sketching, which I'm gonna take my sketchbook with me. I'm gonna see if some ideas start to ferment in my brain and after lunch when I come back, maybe from two hours from now, just see how my ideas uh, shape and I'll start designing some stuff. back from lunch and the doctor's appointment. I didn't sketch that much more, but we already kind of saw these. I made a few more sketches, a couple more here. I was exploring some stuff with maybe some possible illustration elements. I really like this clear bottle. I thought about a wraparound, maybe that's actually the front where it breaks there and then you see rice vinegar. So we'll see, I'm gonna start taking this into design, start taking it on the computer see if I can get something done in the next few hours. Once I have a few ideas that I'm really liking, it's time to move into execution. So for this particular example, I started by looking for some nice high fidelity mockups. The thing is with mockups, mockups can be the key to make your presentation really stand out. So if you have a beautiful mock-up, when somebody else sees it, they feel it's higher quality. They, it's, it's, it's all perception at this point. At first I was thinking of using this particular mock-up that I found. Then I chose this bottle because I felt it looked a little bit more luxurious. I felt like it had some of the nicer qualities that I wanted being glass all the way through with this nice little wood top. For this particular mock-up, I changed the color of the liquid just to be a little bit more realistic to the color of the rice wine vinegar. And then I started playing with different high faces. I was looking Looking at things that were condensed, chunky, serif, sans serif. I was just auditioning a bunch of different things in the composition to see what might feel right. And the reason I'm exploring is to see how it affects my own personal perception of what a high quality brand might look like versus something that might be more inexpensive and cheap. From there, I started thinking about other elements, uh, illustrations that might be on there. I felt like with all the cleanliness of the silhouette of the bottle, as well as the, the clean lines of the typography, I wanted to introduce something that felt a little bit more organic to break up the different shapes that are on the bottle. So I found this cool illustration on a stock site. I thought this was really beautiful, a nice way to uh, show off the rice stock as an element that would help convey the contents of the bottle. Next thing, I started to continue to play with the type. Now that I had a couple of elements on the bottle, I was just looking at the organization and the hierarchy of type. So I was thinking, do I want rice wine vinegar to stand out? Do I want the brand to stand out? How am I going to organize these things so that the hierarchy is straightforward and, and very clear? Ultimately, I ended up choosing something that was a nice serif font. For some reason, when I look at the serif font, especially at a bigger display size like this, it just feels a little bit more premium. There's some beautiful details in the, the weights of the different strokes of this typeface and how you can see in the details of the serifs themselves. So with the type, I was looking for a specific hierarchy here. I wanted it to be identifiable very quickly because I know that this bottle is quite unusual for rice wine vinegar. So I wanted to make that the primary read by making that very, very big and having the most contrast so that the eye can go there first. So you could read it, whether it's um, vertical or horizontal. And I started playing with the other aspects of what I thought were interesting aspects of the, the brand and product was that it was organic. And I think that's very important to a lot of shoppers and a lot of people. And typically when you put 
uh, organic on the bottle, you expect to pay a dollar or two more, if not more, for that same exact product because there's a little bit more care and responsibility that goes into making that product. At least that's the perception. So another interesting fact about the brand that I wanted to highlight was that they were over 300 years old. If something has been around for over 300 years, you know they're doing something right. So I was looking at it as, as an aspect to highlight and play up in the packaging design here. As you can see, I ended up exploring several options here. I started with one that I really liked and because I had the time, I started exploring two or three other options to see how I could play with the hierarchy, how I can see how things are popping out, how details either come to the foreground or push and recede into the back. So that's why the other two or three examples, I started to playing with the contrast of the rice wine vinegar type to make that a little bit more obvious. And ultimately I decided as this one as my favorite. I know the rice wine vinegar is not the most legible on this one, but I think I love the balance of all the elements. So this is the final outcome for today. Here is the before and here is the after. You can also see I have made some other options here that you can look through. And I was just playing with hierarchy, how things move to the foreground, how things move back. But ultimately, uh, this one, this first one here was my favorite. So I just finished the challenge. I think they're pretty decent. I mean, I could keep refining them, but I'm pretty tired now. It's uh, 7.41. I think all in all, I spent about six to eight hours doing the work from picking up the item from the grocery store this morning through researching and doing some initial sketches all the way to the final design so it was pretty fun it was very challenging it was not easy uh, kudos to you ladies who uh, took this design challenge on yourself it wasn't easy but i think i'm cutting myself off now i'm starting to get to that point of diminishing returns where the designs are pretty good and the more and more i tweak it it's not making that much of an improvement so i'm just gonna leave it if i get inspired to tweak them again later maybe i will but i think i'm pretty happy with where they're at and i'm just gonna move on with my life so for all of you guys who are having challenges uh, designing something efficiently within a time squeeze or crunch I think if you have a very clear process, you can tackle any design challenge within a short amount of time. You're gonna spend less time wandering around and more time making clear decisions and coming to a good design solution. I hope this video was valuable to you guys. Let me know what you guys think about my process and if you have any questions about it, leave me a comment below. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps us out. If you haven't seen it yet, don't forget to check out the packaging challenge done by the Young Guns on our other channel. I'll see you guys on the next one.